Welcome back to a little bit of Common Crazy. Today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite homeschool math program, so stick around. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I am a former public school teacher, and I homeschooled my oldest of my three kids. And today I'm partnering with Teaching Textbooks to share with you all about Teaching Textbooks 3.0, and I am so excited. If you saw the curriculum that I used for my son in the sixth grade last year, you know that we used Teaching Textbooks 2.0 and loved it, but it's a little bit pricey. So when I was planning his seventh grade year and I saw that Teaching Textbooks came out with a 3.0, I was over the moon excited because I would be able to save myself a lot of money. When you purchase 3.0, it's about 43 to $67 and doing the 2.0 version is closer to 120 to $185. So for me, that was a huge deal and I knew that we would be switching to 3.0. This summer, Teaching Textbooks reached out to me and asked if I wanted my son to try 3.0 and review it for them and I absolutely jumped on it. I was gonna be getting it anyway and so that was a no-brainer for me. What I really liked is they didn't want me just to quickly say, I love it. They actually wanted my son to try it before I gave my review of it. And that's what we've been doing. The school year started almost about a month ago. So we've had a lot of time for him to get into it and try it. And I can let you know absolutely that we love it. So to give you a little bit of background, 2.0 is their hard copy version. You get the disc kind of in a packet or a booklet of disc and then you also can get the book like a paper copy of a book that's great but it's expensive the disc can get scratched they can get lost they can break lots of things and you're putting a lot of money into it so 3.0 is a completely online system everything from the assignments it grades it for you it keeps the grades online so everything is online and is accessible anywhere so I really like that. It doesn't matter what computer you're on, you're able to use it. You can also use it on their on a mobile device or a tablet. You do have to use an app in order to do that because it requires Adobe Flash and you don't get quite the same experience because you are dealing with a smaller screen, but it is a possibility if that's something that you need. Maybe you're traveling or something like that and that's the option that you have. So that is absolutely something that you can do. From a homeschooling mom perspective of why I like 3.0 is that it teaches the lesson and it grades the lesson for me. So it frees me up a lot of spare time. I'm able to focus on other things and worry about other things. And if you're teaching multiple kids, then that time-saving aspect of it is huge. I also really like that it is super user-friendly so the week that my son started school, I think a lot of kids must have started school at that same time because teaching textbook servers were in overload and they actually had to shut down for about a day and a half so that they could add new servers to accommodate all the traffic that they were getting. So I'm super excited for them that they're getting all that traffic, but the part that I like was that they jumped on it so fast. They apologized. They made sure that we knew that they weren't going to shorten our subscription that we wouldn't lose those days that we they were down and it was about a day and a half that was all i just really like that i absolutely really love their customer service and how they handle things something else that you might be interested in knowing is that they do have a large family plan homeschooling adds up really quickly and if you have several kids that you're homeschooling then it adds up even faster. And so their large family plan, if you do 3.0, is $199.08. And that is really great. Say you have four, five, six, seven, eight kids, you're only gonna pay that $199.08. So it is absolutely a budget saver. That's what you would be paying if you did 2.0 just for the upper, upper math levels. So I really love that, and I think that that is something worth mentioning. Another thing that I really like about teaching textbooks is that you don't just have to guess where your child should be. They have placement test and that's how you know where they need to begin. So you go online, you have your child take a placement test until you find the right fit and you know exactly where they need to start. So there's no guessing game involved in any of that. Now on the student side of things, some of the things that they would really like, because honestly to me, this is some of the more important part of it. 
I had to ask my son, I'm like, so what do you like about teaching textbooks? Because he does like it. It is normally the very first thing that he wants to do when he starts his school day. He just loves to jump on and do his math. And so I was asking him what he liked about it and he goes, it's fun. Remember he's 12. So I'm like, well, you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific than that. I can't just go on and tell people it's fun, so go spend your money. So he um, said he likes that it reviews concepts. And not quite the way he worded it, but he said when he was in school, they would learn something, and once they learned it, then they moved on. They didn't keep revisiting it. With teaching textbooks, they do keep revisiting. So you'll learn something maybe in week one, but you're still going to see that concept again in week 16. And it just keeps revisiting concepts. So you remember them and you keep using them. And so the long-term memory of how to use these concepts is a lot stronger than it would be in another kind of system. So I, I love that he recognizes that. I think that's really important that he sees that. But because of that, I think it makes it a little bit, I don't wanna say easier for him, but in some ways it does because he's not having to go weeks on end without seeing a concept and all of a sudden here it is again. So I do think that it does. I also feel that it breaks the concepts down really easily. And so it never seems too overwhelming for him. And the way that they do it is engaging and it's fun. And I'm really excited to show you exactly how that is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you to my computer. I'm gonna show you what his login looks like, what my login looks like, walk you, few, walk you through a few things so you can really get an idea of what it's like. Cause I think that's really important if this is something that you're considering. So let's head over to the computer. So first I wanted to show you what it looks like when a student is working on a lesson. So here you see Aiden solving this problem and now I will walk you through the entire program. So you go into the teaching textbooks 3.0 login, you put in your email and then you have a choice between parent or student and I'm going to go ahead and go into Aiden's first. I need to change it to Aiden and it switches his password over for me cause we have saved it. Now here you have two choices. You can either go into the main page, which is where they do their lessons and their test, or you can go and look at the ebook. So we're gonna go into the ebook first and you can see that you have all the exact same lessons that you can choose from. And then this looks exactly like the 2.0 hard copy of the book. So if this is what you need to see, it is on here in an ebook. It doesn't mean that you can't order it separately if you want to but just know that you do have it as an ebook. And I think that's really nice. And on the parent side of it, you do have an answer key and I'll show that to you when I get over there. So let's go back to the homepage and go into where his lessons are. So from here, he's able to go and choose the lesson that he is on and he can pick wherever he's at. So under the student settings, you have a buddy and the buddy is what helps you with your hints if you have those on. It's just a cute little character that you have on the side. Uh, Aiden still finds that fun. He likes that. So you can choose your different buddies in here. You also can choose your wallpaper background and he has the pixelated or was it pixel city is the one that he has chosen. And you also can go into sound and decide if your buddy sound is on or off. So that's just a little something extra that makes it fun for the kids. Now the student can also go and look at their own grades in a grade book. They can't do anything here. They can't change anything, but they can see and review their grades. And I know that Aiden likes to do that. And then you click test. They can also see how they did on their test. Go ahead and log out here. And I'm gonna go into my settings. Again, I have to switch it here and say it's me. And then it'll give me my password. I'm gonna go into the parent page and here you have different options. So I'm gonna start down here. If you ever need to contact teaching textbooks, you can email them through here. You can manage your subscriptions. And then up here, you can see that you can change your password. So this is the first one I'm gonna go into and this was the hint and second chance. Hints are really great. And in 2.0, you didn't have a chance to turn those off. I have chosen to turn them off because on every problem, it will tell you what lesson that problem comes from. And so I have decided that Aiden should go back maybe in here, the lecture again, and that's what our preference is, but you can choose for yourself what you want. Now, second chances I have left on because sometimes we just push the wrong button or maybe we made a mistake in our math and you are able to correct that on your own. You're able to see your own mistake. And so I'm completely happy with second chances. 
Now that only works when it is a problem that you solve. If it's a true or false, multiple choice, things like that, then you are limited to just one chance anyway. But that option is there if you're interested in that. So let's go back here. Again, just like in the students, you can see the ebook of all the lessons that you have, but on the parent side of it, you also have your answer key. And I think that's really great. You can see the answer key for both for the lessons as well as the test. Now, the part that you might like the best is where you can see the grades and make changes if you need to. So all the grades, of course, are listed. And I'm going to go into his lowest grade here and click on it. I can see exactly what problems he missed. So if I need to review anything with him, maybe he keeps missing the same concept. And so I know that we need to take a step back on that concept. I'm able to look at that and see that. Also, if I want him to go back, maybe I'm not happy with his grade and I want him to go back and correct all of the missed problems. I can go into edit, I can delete it and it will take away his answer and then he can go back into his login and redo that problem and change that grade. And so you have that option and I really do like that. Also, just like in the student, you have a folder for test and you can do the same thing if you want them to go back and correct anything or do anything. So everything's accessible here. now. You do not have to be on any specific computer in order to see all this. Any place that you have access to the internet, you are able to do this from any location. That is another reason why I really love using 3.0 and not having to worry about taking a disc with me because in 2.0, you had to keep the disc with you or you had to carry the book with you. You had to pick one or the other. And this to me is just so much more convenient. I really do love it. As you can see, I absolutely do love Teaching Textbooks 3.0. I think it is fabulous. And if you're in a place right now where you're struggling with your homeschool math, this would be a good time to look into it. Don't stick with something just because that's what you got. Teaching Textbooks does offer a trial membership so you can see if this would be a good fit because honestly, the most important thing for us is to make sure that our kids are enjoying learning, that they love to learn. And I think that Teaching Textbooks has done that really well with math. Teaching Textbooks has been super generous and is offering my subscribers a chance to win a one-year annual subscription to 3.0. So all you need to do is go check out the link in the description below and it'll take you to Raffle, Raffle Copter and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. From there, you have an opportunity to win a one-year annual subscription to Teaching Textbooks 3.0. I do post a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I would love for you to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.